Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. We gotta get this in because the baby's quiet and feeding him a bottle. See, look, he gets really blotchy when he eats. Yeah, he does get blotchy when he eats. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, um, this is a new day. It's the day after Easter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like the post-holiday blues. You get like all ramped up for it and everybody's like, he's alive, he's arisen. And then the next day is like. <laughs> so did know. you, you know, growing up, did you guys have big Easter's? Not really. We had like Easter baskets and stuff. But I think the big thing was we always been taught, you know, the real meaning of Easter. But I don't know. We didn't really have a lot of. I was excited about all the candy and the What goodies. do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by the real meaning? You mean Easter's not about a, a rabbit that hides eggs? Mm, nah, I don't know. Um, Maybe we shouldn't have Our biggest thing this. was, was uh, looking nice, like dressing up. Yes, for that was my favorite was part. Thing. And there's a lot of pictures of me like wearing like uh, just some overalls. You know, <laughs> and I, that was and your I, Easter I like, well, I mean, I had overalls and stuff. That was like, I guess it looked like I was dressing up then. I don't know. Oh but my gosh. I look back at it and I'm like, man, I was such an idiot. But I mean, I, who doesn't do that with pictures though? You I know. know. <laughs> I remember specifically like wanting to dress up so bad when I was growing up. And my parents never really bought us like these really nice big poofy dresses. But there was... I never really got like one of those big poofy dresses I felt like, but the one I remember is when I went shopping with my grandmommy in Louisville. And it what do you was mean called. by poofy dress? You mean like poofy, like poofy, like on the arms? Really? And like, and it was, and she, I remember going into Bacon's, it was called Bacon's at the time, and I was like, do you smell eyeballing. This, by the way? Are you, he is stanky, stanky, stank. Well, I hope. I hope it's poop. You started giving him those bananas, and next thing no. you know, okay. anyway. you can smell it across the room. We are. So I went to the store, and I... Went to Bacon's. Remember, I was We were I not bought. rich enough to go to Bacon's. We went to Eggs. <laughs> no, we went to Bacon's. My mom took us to Bacon at their Midnight <laughs> Madness sale, and we got shirts for like 99 cents and 25 cents. Yes, your mom's probably watching this video and saying, that's right, because she gets excited whenever and she gets And I was like not best dressed. In school, I was like tomboy, and I wore whatever was on clearance. That's how I was. Well, I'm anyway. sure you rocked it, baby. Yeah. I'm One sure day, I remember my good. dad telling me I looked like a clown because I wore overalls and a red and white and blue striped <laughs> shirt with some red all-star high-top shoes. <laughs> yeah. It must have I really it stuck cute. with you because you still remember this. <laughs> yeah, I remember my outfits and my purple dress. Way to go, Jean. Good so, work. <laughs> Traumatize your daughter. My purple dress that my grandmommy got me for Easter, that was the one dress that I remember because it was my first and my only big, poofy, frilly dress. Yeah. Well, and that good. was a tomboy growing up, so like that was big for me to have that frilly, poofy, poofy dress. I Did you say poopy? poopy? <laughs> Is it a poopy dress? We're on poop mode here. This oh. one. We're on poop watch, guys. You know, you know. I think we need to set up a live camera, just like the we... zoos do for whenever uh, the we animals are gonna have a baby. Oh gosh. We need a live camera. And see this. So we um, called the nurse yesterday, and she was like telling us things to do to help him go to the bathroom. Has it been in a long time? Like a week or whatever. And so, I'm sorry, Solomon, if you're 18 and watching this, sorry, I'm telling poop stories about you. But anyway, um, we, Andrew wanted to put him on our bidet. Well, a little she said you spray on a little bidet. water up in the Neanderthal area. Then what I happens said, we're going to get sprayed. Who got sprayed? It will get him to use the bathroom. And so, I am a big bidet proponent. And did it work? Everybody should have a bidet. If you don't have a bidet, then you're gross. I'll well, did it work? So she held the baby with the butt cheeks a little bit open, <laughs> and I activated the kid's level of bidet, which is just a small stream, I yeah. thought. Well, the stream came out, it was like a volcano, and it sprayed us everywhere. Yeah. So that meanwhile, Solomon's just like this. And I was like, the entire time, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I caught so, him trying to pop, pop, no. I caught him trying to call child protective services later. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Keeping my cell phone back. <laughs> yeah. So we um 
we wanted to talk about, Andrew had a good topic for today, and it's, uh, we wanted to talk about a new day, like new beginnings mm -hmm. and starting fresh, starting fresh. And, and so spring, just springtime. I went out and uh, saw a few patients this morning and, uh, as I was driving, I was like, Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It's still a little chilly, but it's so beautiful mm -hmm. outside. I thought I, we, this is like a new beginning. This is like a, not only a new day, but maybe you yeah. could liken it to like a new way of thinking. If, if there's something that you struggle with, um, or somebody that you struggle with or yeah. a situation that you struggle with, uh, spring means there's, it, it's new, like you're, you're rising mm -hmm. from the dead and, and a lot of plants do that and, yeah. you know, and so forth. So, um, it's so having life. said that it's new life, right. And so maybe you could think, maybe I can start, have a new start here. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so maybe you've had, I was just telling him, maybe you have like a crappy day yesterday or, you know, you just maybe you fought with your wife <laughs> over the littlest things. Well, we didn't have a fight yesterday. Did we? No, we haven't had a fight in a while. No. Okay. Anyway, our last fight was actually on video. <laughs> what? Last week. Oh, that was anyway, um, gosh, not anyway. Um, uh, so what's next, honey? <laughs> So, Baby, you are the anyway lady. I know. It, She's it, always anyway. It's always like, it's always about um, mm. don't say um too much. Well, I say anyway Well, you know what? When you so. say anyway, it's a good transition to your next topic, which yeah. means that I'm tired of talking about this topic, and I'm afraid that's going to be boring for everybody else. Yeah, Anyway, we let's are, go to the next topic. We're so going to move on to the Bible verse. So, he was talking about new beginnings, new life being formed, and spring is a great example of that because all the trees that were dead, all the flowers that were dead, they died over the winter, and now they're being renewed. They're being brought back to life, mm -hmm. and there is hope in the air. And so, I always love thinking about hope and seeing spring blooming because it could be a dreary... Uh, spring and it's cloudy and yucky and whatever and we're stuck inside the spring so the blooming the green grass we drove around yesterday and today just to get out and get him to nap and it was beautiful like the sun was out yesterday was kind of dreary but it was still really green pastures and so today we went out and it was so beautiful the sun that was, was out the bidet escapade afterwards we <laughs> went out and drive for a drive yeah, so we picked the verse today in Lamentations, and it is Lamentations three twenty two through, we'll say 23. It says, The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercy never ceases. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. And I actually read 24 after that. But it's, this is exactly what we were just talking about. You know, it's a new morning, a new day. And we, you know, spring is bringing on new hope and new joy. And whatever you're struggling with today, or whether it's related to COVID or related to something else, relationships, jobs, uh, finances, those kinds of things, just know that God is there and hope is there. That's, That's so funny. true. He's totally, I can't believe he drank that entire bottle. I we, thought we had We like, started that bottle right when eight minutes and he drank the entire thing. Okay, well, we're going to hurry now. Um, so, <laughs> Here, let's, let's give him this pacifier. Um, so, this is saying his love never ends. His love never fails us. And he will always be there for us. So, just cling on to that faith that you have and hope. And know that when you see spring, he's going to have really bad gas. That's what that so, little thing is in there uh, for. You said it was. Let's get him a We're going to go ahead and end this now. So uh, we're going to pray for all of those that are struggling today, that are lost. We've been praying for you guys every day. People that are going through illnesses or having tests done right now. And right now is probably a bad time to have tests done. So just to have the strength to get through it. All right. You want to pray? You're done. <laughs> I tried yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Ugh.
let's do this. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all the blessings that you give us. We thank you so much for um, the opportunity that we have to uh, to seek your word and, and to pray to you in, in, um, in a free country. Uh, Lord, we pray that those with uh, COVID-19 and and just the flu and other diseases, that you uh, wrap your arms around them and, and you help those doctors come up with uh, a way to treat the patients uh, so that they feel a lot better. Um, Lord, thank you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Lots of thanking. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope tonight was okay for you. <laughs> this little green insert is supposed to keep them from getting gas in their bellies. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying it. So. Bye. <laughs>